In this video, we will talk about creating NumPy arrays using different methods. We will try to explore each method with an example. First, let's start creating a NumPy array by using list. I am going to import NumPy package, import NumPy as np. np.array is the function used for creating a NumPy array. So I am going to declare arr array equal to np.array and a list of elements. So I have specified list of elements as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I am trying to print the output. First we need to execute the first statement then we will come back and we will run the build. If you notice you are getting the output as array in the list format. If I remove print statement here If you notice we are storing an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in ARR variable. Now if you check the type of the variable it's NumPy n dimensional array. Similar to list we can also use tuples for creating a NumPy array. So I'll specify ARR equal to np.array. This time instead of a list, I'm gonna create a tuple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'll try to check the output of it. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again in a list format because prints try to print outputs on always in a list format. If you notice the type of ARR, it's numpy n dimensional array. Apart from list and tuple, we can also use range operator for creating numpy arrays. So array equal to np.array range 10. So we are specifying take the values from 0 to 9. Now if you print ARR, it actually fetches the results from 0 to 9 and it's of array data type. Now we are going to talk about creating NumPy arrays by using inbuilt functions. NumPy has a rich set of inbuilt functions which can help us to create NumPy arrays. So let's start off with a simple example np.arrange. So what np.arrange does is it helps us to arrange the elements between a starting point and stopping point. You can also specify how much we have to increase by. So array equal to np.arrange, I'll specify 0 to 20 and increase by 2 units. So now if we print array, you can notice the output is generated from 0 to 20 in that range and it is actually increasing by 2 units. np.arrange is a function that is used to generate the elements between a particular range given. Now if I remove the 2 here which is I am actually deleting the incremental. So the default incrementation is by 1 unit. So you get the output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on and till whatever the last value. 